when you actually have an emotion, we talked about earlier how it's usually a thought that precedes the emotion. Something occurs, an event occurs, a girlfriend calls, such and such happens, and we feel this way. So an emotion is usually a response to a thought, correct? Mm -hmm. okay. Have you also noticed that thoughts actually think themselves? Have you guys noticed that? Again? Have you noticed that thoughts think themselves? Yes. You notice that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Like you might just have a thought like, just we'll use, we'll use the environment today. It's cold outside. Oh my God, I could be living in Calgary. Oh my God, that's a lot of snow. Oh my God, could you imagine this much snow in Vancouver? Do you see how quickly that happened? The <laughs> thoughts think themselves. And if you have 60, 70 thoughts, thousands of thoughts a day, they come in quickly. Let's say you and I have two identical thoughts. Let's just say we look in the mirror and we go, I've got a gray hair. Would, could you imagine that we'd both have different second thoughts? OK. What, why, not so much why, but yeah, why, or what would be the reason that I'd have a different second thought than you? Do you know why? Where's the mic? You got the mic. Uh, again, beliefs, I guess. Beliefs. And we're actually going to put the word in here, emotion. Okay. So what's the emo what, what would be your second thought, or, or what's the emotion if you find a gray hair? Um, I guess it would be fear. Okay. And then, so sit with that. Then what's the next thought that would come in? Uh, it'll be, oh my God, I got a white hair, you know, a gray hair. Okay, great. I got to hide it. Okay, great. <laughs> awesome. So see how quickly that happened? Yeah. Okay, good. See, if I saw gray hair, some days I would go there. Other days I'd go, wow, I'm getting wise. <laughs> you know, I'm getting older. I'm getting wise. People sometimes think that Raj and I, my son are, and I are sister and brother, and because we walk, we, like we just play together so much that I don't often get mistaken as his mom. So I'm like, maybe people will stop thinking I'm his sister, you know? Yeah. And it's like, so, like, do you see how we can have different thoughts yeah. from the same first thought? Great. And what you want to understand, this is a key to understanding your emotions, is thought one, thought two, thought three, thought four. What magnetizes these, th these thoughts in is the emotion somebody feels. And your emotion, after the gray hair, was fear. So it's no surprise the next thought came in is, is oh, i got to color my hair. And then if we stayed with it long enough, then the next thought would be, I'm getting old. I'm not saying you're going to have this thought, but I'll go in the next one. The next thought is, I'm going to die. The next thought is, I don't have my funeral plan. The next thought is, I'm do you see how that works? Illnesses happen when you get older. Like, you know, that's, mo that's what we call momentum. Got it? Thought one comes in, then thought two, then thought three, then thought four. If you think the first thought for 17 seconds or more, and you hold that emotion, because you and I could have, it's a gray hair, oh, did you see the sun outside? Oh, did you see my chocolate lab today? Like, you know, you could get distracted and not hold that very long. But if you hold the emotion for 17 seconds or longer, which is short, then another thought comes into it. Join it. 